Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to set up a server with AI traffic for Assetto Corsa, using the new panel we recently launched, which makes everything even easier than before. First of all, we need to keep in mind that to create a server with AI traffic, we must have some files called AI lanes. These files will tell the server where to generate the autonomous cars. Some tracks already come with them, and it's as simple as taking them from there while in others we'll need to find them ourselves. A good place to find AI lanes is the Assetto Server Discord, where they have a dedicated channel for sharing these files. Link in the description. Let's get started. First, we log in at the top right corner. The first thing we'll do is set the name with which the server will appear in the public lobby. Click on Server and then on Options, where it says Name, we put whatever we want. In this case, AssettoHosting.com Demo Server. And then very importantly, we need to set a password where it says admin password with more than eight characters. Without this, the server will not start, and it'll be the one we use later to issue live commands from the server. Once this is ready, we go to the bottom and click on save. Now we're gonna upload the mods to the server. For that, we go to the content tab at the top and click on cars and setups. Here, we'll upload both the cars we wanna drive and those that will be used to generate traffic. Click on Choose a Folder and find the installation folder of Assetto Corsa. In this case, I have a quick access, but normally it's in Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Assetto Corsa, Content. Here, we go to the Cars folder and select the car in question. In this case, the Abarth 500. One click on the folder and click Upload. We confirm again and click the orange button, Upload Cars. With this, we've already added a car to the server. Now, we're going to repeat the process with a track. Pay attention to this step because this is where we'll upload the AI lanes files we talked about earlier. In this case, we'll load the Trento Bondone track. Click on it and upload it. Confirm twice more, and that's it. Now that we have the track uploaded, let's load the AI lanes. We look for it in the list and click on it. Now at the top, we see the menu to load the files. In this case, we'll use the AI lanes that come by default with the map. Click on Choose Your Files. Go to the AI folder and upload the fast underscore lane dot AI. Wait a few seconds and we'll see it there. Now we'll create the event. Go to the races tab, click on it, and in the small menu that opens, click on view existing. Here we can have different events created to launch them with one click without having to configure them every time we want to change. Let's create a new one. Click the green button at the top right that says create a new custom race. This menu allows us to configure the event we will go directly to the essential elements to avoid delaying this tutorial any longer. At the top, we can select the track and its layout if it has one. In this case, Trento Bondone. In the lower area, there's two boxes. The left box shows the cars stored in the panel, and the right box shows the cars available in the event. In this case, I want both cars in the event. So with a click, we move them to the right area. Scroll down a bit, and we find the area that defines the duration of the session. In this case, we'll set it to 600 minutes so that it lasts for 10 hours. Keep scrolling down. This area is called Entry List and is very important because it defines which cars will be available for the user and which cars will be available for AI. Make sure the value Max Clients equals the maximum number of boxes on the track. Trento Bondone, being a very small track, only has four, but this does not worry us too much as with two AI car models, they'll then repeat to generate traffic throughout the route. The orange button at the bottom of the entry list allows us to add many cars at once. So I'll add as many cars as I can at once and then modify them one by one. Great, now that I have the cars added, I'll select the model for each one and set AI mode to auto. This way, if there are no real players, the AI will take the car. Fixed means the AI always takes the car, and it's not available for real drivers. And none means the opposite, available for real drivers but not for AI. Important, if we're admins, we can take any car. For the weather settings, I'll make other dedicated tutorials as they require a full video. Once this is done, we'll skip the other options and save at the bottom. We add a name to the preset we created and press the red button, Save Custom Race. Before starting the event, I want to quickly go over the different menus with other options. If we click on CSP options and open the menu called Extra Settings, we could see many other options such as AI speed parameters, spawn distance, density, graphics options, network options, plug-in activation, and a long etc. In the same top menu, we also have two other highly requested menus. The CSP Extra options, which is used to add custom CSP codes, and the Content JSON window, which is used to automate the download of mods for users. 
Finally, remember that if you want to be administrators, apart from the password, you can also add your Steam ID in the Admins menu within the Server tab. Now, we return to Races. Click on View Existing and press Start on the desired event. In this area, we can see the loaded event along with the Server panel where we see the logs. If there are errors, we can use the logs to try to understand what it is and the reason. To join, we just need to click the green button that says Join, and it'll create a direct content manager link to the server. Important, until we're on the track with the AI, the cars do not appear. So if we're in the pit and alone on the server, we'll not see AI cars.